What's up guys, it is Friday morning and I've got five orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first thing is a record and it didn't have the sleeve. It's a picture disc by Deep Purple. This one right here, it was only the vinyl, no sleeve. I had this listed for like $25 or best offer. Somebody offered me $20 plus shipping and I accepted. Next we are coming, oh, walked right past it. We're coming to B21. Let's see. This is a Sony remote for a CD player. Kind of surprised this sold to be honest with you. This sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next thing is a book in C41. And I think I already had it in a poly bag. Let's pull it out of here though really quick and I'll show you guys what it is. This is an antique book for the Borderland Coal Company. Uh, I believe this is from 1914. There should be a year in here somewhere. Yeah, 1914. Old books are usually a dime a dozen, but if you find anything that has an interesting subject matter, um, different, unique, something like that, railroad, coal, I remember selling a beekeeper book one time. Um, the more unique, the better. That tends to be where the money is. This isn't in amazing condition, but it's over 100 years old. So considering the age, it is in pretty good shape. This sold for $49.99 free shipping. All right, next thing we're coming to B52. I sold a pack of Polaroid film. Not the Polaroid film you're probably thinking about. These are um, four by five inches black and white instant film for a 55. I honestly don't know. I've never seen this before. I got this from a bulk buy and they go for pretty good money. Um, this one I sold for, let me double check the price. Sold for $70 free shipping. All right, we're coming to C41 next. I sold some perfume. This is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. I had, I think, three or four of these. The other ones were sealed in the plastic. This one was an open box, but it was still never used. But I had to sell it for a little bit less. I took a best offer of $30 free shipping. Got everything packed up and out the door, and I'm gonna go hit up a couple Goodwills, see what I can find. It is now Monday morning, and I thought I would give you guys a little bit better idea of what I picked up at the thrift store. Got House of the Dead Overkill for Wii for, I'm going to say it was $3. They had their CDs priced at 2 and DVDs at 3 and they didn't have anything specific for video games. Um, this was in really good shape. A couple minor scratches, but not too bad. Has the manual and everything. This is selling between 20 and 25 Got a really nice pair of Nike Mercurial. Might be mispronouncing that. Um, these are, I want to say they're either women's cleats or like junior. They were eight bucks, but I saw sold comps around like sixty to seventy dollars. I've seen some mercurial cleats before uh, sell for some pretty good money. That's what you're looking for is a mercurial, and I think they have a lot of different um, models of the mercurial. That's just a, you know a general thing they use for some of their cleats. Found these, city or CD, I don't know. I knew they were cycling shoes right away. You can see that they've got the, the spots where they would actually uh, snap into a bike pedal. These were eight bucks, and these are, I'm pretty sure these are youth, junior, or something like that. But these new are like a couple hundred dollars. They might be a hard sell, just because they're small, it's finding the right, you know, the right person to fit them. So I might list them for 70 or 80 bucks, or best offer. I mean, they're in perfect condition. These things are barely worn, so. I was all over those. And then this is really cool. This is FC Cincinnati. It's the local soccer team that is now in the MLS. And uh, they sent this out to season ticket holders. They were celebrating their last um, season at Nippert Stadium. That's the University of Cincinnati Stadium. That's where they played before they had their own stadium built. So we've got this really cool like plaque thing. Oh, uh, let's see what we got. What is this? I don't know what this is. Handcrafted forge. Oh, this is this is for the plaque, duh. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so this is what the plaque sits on. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we'll put that back. 
I don't think there's that many of these floating out there because this was four season ticket holders. I don't know that it has a ton of value. I'm hoping for 40 or 50 bucks, maybe. We've got a glass in here. Hold on, stuff's falling out of here, guys. Let me move this around. Let's see, this right here is, what is this? Coasters, pretty neat. Coasters with pictures. And I'm wondering if there's something else underneath this too. There might, there might not be, it might just be what's in there. Either way, really cool piece. And it was only $4. So I think there's some profit to be made on that. All right, I just pulled out the packaging and found a bunch of things in Ziploc bags. I think these are the uh, bracelets for some of the games that they must have kept. That's really cool. Again, I doubt that there's much value there, but I think it'll help help all this stuff sell. Pretty neat piece. All right, now that we got the Goodwill stuff out of the way, it's time to ship some items. I went ahead and pulled this from my basement. It's where I keep all the golf clubs and bats and odd shaped things. This is a new old stock worth softball bat. Um, out of the plastic used, it might be worth 15 or 20 bucks, but the fact that it still had all the plastic was really cool. I got a bunch of these, maybe like 30 or 40 of them in a bulk buy. So I've only got a couple dollars each into them. Uh, they are going to take a while to sell. I've had this one for maybe a month. Had it listed for like 40 or best offer. Took a best offer of $35 plus shipping. Coming to C51 next. I sold a video game. Maximo Ghost to Glory PS2 Greatest Hits. I sold for $11.99 free shipping. All right, going back to C51. I guess I could have just went ahead and pulled this one at the same time. This is disc only. Ultimate Spider-Man for Xbox. I sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, next we're coming down here to the vinyl records. I sold Rush 2112 for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going to C41 next. I sold this circuit breaker. Got this in a bulk buy. I bet I've got three or four dollars into it. Not much at all. That sold for $39.99 free shipping. All right, we're coming to B41 right here. Sold another Civil War piece. This is an enlistment paper and this is a really interesting one because i think this is one that was um issued after the fact in 1889 so it was kind of like a they're, they're stating that samuel cooper was enlisted in 1864 and i think maybe like either he wanted this paper or the family wanted it um so kind of like a reissue of an enlistment paper this was listed i think for like 40 dollars or best offer i'm looking at right now looks like it sold for 35 dollars plus shipping and it is going out to a viewer named Brent. So Brent, thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. All right, next we're coming to B21, and I'm just gonna pull this whole box because I've got a bunch of BMX magazines in here that sold. So we're just gonna pull these out one at a time. I got a bunch of these in a recent bulk buy, and I had no idea what these were worth. These are vintage BMX magazines from the late 70s, early 80s. And these things have some really good value. Originally, I was thinking I was just going to lot them all up. But once I saw what they were selling for, I decided to list them individually. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out so you guys have an idea of what these look like. So there's a few different ones. This one is BMX Action. And this one specifically, let me see here. This, I think I had listed for like 40 or 50 bucks. Took a best offer of $35 plus shipping on that one keep an eye out for these guys they're probably pretty hard to find is why they're so valuable but if you find them pick them up all right next one that's sold i labeled as number 11. hmm i just saw 12 i saw 10 there's 11. all right this one this one's from 1980 i think it's the same magazine as the previous one i sold but they used to call it bicycle motocross action and the other one you saw, they just switched it to BMX action. This one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next one going out is this one right here, BMX Plus from 1982. This one I took a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Next one is from 81, another uh, motocross action. This one I took a best offer of $38 plus shipping. All right, next order has two magazines. These weren't worth quite as much. Um, one from 82, actually both from 82, Bicycles and Dirt and Bicycle Motocross Action. For the pair, I took offer of $34 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming to B32. I sold this Kiss comic book. Uh, condition on this thing was not great. You can see the cover got separated from the actual comic book itself, but this thing has some serious value. Supposedly, this was printed in real Kiss blood. Um, 
Not so sure if I believe that. This I listed for like 80 or 90 or best offer because of the condition. Took a best offer of $70 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming over here to B33. I sold this Fujifilm Quick Load Film. It is open box, but it had the uh, sealed packaging and everything. That sold for $50, free shipping. All right, sold another record. Let's see, it's Journey Raised on Radio. Where's that in here? A lot of Kiss, a lot of Zeppelin. I think it's all the way here in the back. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming to 832. I sold this Chicago Cutlery Meat Cleaver. Not in the best condition, unfortunately, but still sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling today is another record. It is the Sex Pistols Picture Vinyl. Let's see, where's it at? I think I have more than one. I think it might be that one. I'm going to double check, though. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. This sold for $70 plus shipping. That is it for this video, guys. And in case you didn't already know, I've had a raccoon getting in my dumpster for months now. And I always let him out. I've been giving him snacks like grapes and marshmallows and stuff. And I think I'm going to start putting a clip of him at the end of every video. So here is your daily dose of Ricky the Raccoon.